STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. It's an education coalition that helps kids learn the importance of science. And this year, the Flagstaff STEM program taught fifth graders from Killip Elementary School about our planet and how to combat climate change in Flagstaff. Lee Bourne has a story in this week's Science Matters. STEM is an interactive program for kids learning about science. Ted Komoda, Killip Elementary STEM coordinator, explains how important it is for the young minds. STEM is, is a way of taking learning off, uh, off of the, the page, the book, the worksheet, and bringing it out into the real world. Um, and when you tend to do that, you tend to get kids that engage a lot more with their learning. Uh, they'll learn faster and they enjoy their learning a lot more. Each year, the fifth graders learn about the Earth's systems and their surroundings out at Lake Mary. Different types of spheres, atmosphere, geosphere, hydro, hydrosphere, and biosphere. A group of scientists teach the kids about the different spheres of their expertise. This year, Katie Krause says the kids were also asked to do something new and important, to teach us. Um, but we're throwing a little curveball this year and tying it into climate change um, and how, how would that look, how would your sphere be affected uh, at the rate that we're going with uh, global warming and climate change, what will it look like? We're here at Killip because they've asked the kids to present back to the scientists their solutions for global climate change and how we can curb it here in Flagstaff. The students presented their well thought out solutions how we all can make a difference in our homes and communities. In the end, it's all about the hands-on learning that sets the STEM program apart from any other school experience. That's the example of what STEM education can do for learning, right? You can read about it in a book and watch a YouTube video, or you can get out here and not just learn the content information, but then do something with it. Lee Bourne, NAZ Today.